it's pulled out like that. Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. We're gonna be upgrading the taillights on my Tacoma. I got these smoked taillights here from Yodaverse. If you wanna check them out, they're in the description. Let's go ahead and throw these in. I'll go over what tools you need and you know the process of pulling these lights out. It's not hard, about a five minute job, if that. But we're gonna throw these in because they're gonna look sick. Let's hop into this. All right, guys, all we need to do this job is our trusty 10 mil. Now, if you lose these like I do, I'm sorry, but we have one, so we can do this. Now, if we come over here, we got one right here, pop, pop. We gotta remove that bolt and then the bottom one right there. A little dark right now, but I'm gonna go ahead, get those removed, and then I'll show you guys how we can pull that light out. Pull this tail light out. Now, once you get those bolts out, there's gonna be little tabs that push in there. So just grab the top here and just give it a yank. If you it's pulled out like that, I go ahead and set that on the side there. See those little tabs right there? It's going there. Now it might be a little stuck, so just give it a yank. Start from the top, bop, bop, and it should just pop right out of there. Because we're replacing the whole tail light, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. All you gotta do is give it a twist like that and pull it out. Those are those last fit lights, by the way. Very bright uh, reverse lights. Love those. A little bit of a before, gross looking dirty light clean smoked awesome light now i want to show you guys we have to remove these bulbs because they're not going to be used we're going to keep that brake light or that reverse light come over here and i'll show you guys what we got going on so there's like built-in leds into this light for the brake light you see that we're going to have to plug that into there now i have a feeling that these are going to be directional so I'm gonna plug them in, test them, see if they work before I, you know, put them back in. So let's go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and plugged it in and turned the lights on. As you can see on this side, the lights are on, but they're not on on this side. So that means I have the directional directions of this thing messed up. So as long as the light's not broke, I should be able to flip this over and it works. Let's go ahead and do that. I had the four ways on. That's the brakes, break off ash. And that's just the running light. So we come over here, right? That's the old style with just the running lights on, turn signal. Now this is turn signal with the running lights and then those middle ones are the brake lights. That looks pretty sick. I don't know if I like those turn signals. I think they're bright enough. Maybe. You think they're bright enough, Ash? Yeah. I don't know about that one. At night, they'll be bright enough, but I don't know during the day. Now that we got the wiring figured out, I gotta go ahead and remove that cover and push in the reverse light. I gotta pull that cover off with something. You guys are not gonna believe what just happened. I was trying to get the re reverse light into there, right? So I was trying to get it to turn around and the light fell off and got stuck inside there. I don't think you guys realize how scared I was because it has to fit through that little hole. It was laying in there sideways. Ashley was able to actually get that out. Be very careful. Because I don't think it's very easy to get these lenses off. You probably have to bake that. Alrighty, so we have that in. I just got to bolt it up, but I just pushed it in, made sure all the lights are good. That was kind of a pain, but not too bad. Though, you just got to make sure it's directional. And so we had to keep testing stuff to make sure everything worked correctly. But that is just the running lights on. And then we come over here to this side. Lame lights. Cool lights. <laughs> that looks sick. Quick side note, look how beautiful the sky looks right now, huh? Look at that. You can see the moon up there, huh? That's that's pretty. Oop. I'm gonna go get warm real quick. My feet are cold. I went ahead and moved the truck because that sunset was just too good looking to just let it sit there and go to waste. Look at that. We're still doing the light install, but I had to show that off a little bit. Forgot to mention this because I didn't even realize I have to remove these because they didn't come with them. You can see that I'm running out of daylight here. You know, I got distracted by this beautiful sunset. A little bit of ADD on my end, but I have to remove that, put it here to get the bolts to, you know, bolt into the light. So I'm gonna figure out how to remove those bad boys. So I'm running out of daylight, guys. I apologize. I'll probably finish the install tomorrow just because I want to be able to show you guys. There's a guy ripping it up on a four wheel over there, so it's gonna ruin the audio. So I'm probably just gonna finish this tomorrow, but I wanted to show you, all I had to do was I pry it up and out. So you push up, there's little clips there, super hard to see, I'm sorry. Up and out, 
and then I slid them into this and now I should be able to bolt them up. This is at night, it's pretty dark right now. I'm gonna finish up the right light, but that's the right, you know, the old light. That's the new light. Looks pretty freaking awesome, big fan. Yeah, we'll finish up tomorrow. It's cold. I ran out of sunlight because I'm a, I'm a goof. I'll see you guys in the morning or in the afternoon whenever I finish this up. Hey guys, we're back. We're going to finish up this install. Again, you know, it's a little dark out. I don't like being out here when it's super bright because the camera just gets blown out and it doesn't look very good. So I wait until later in the day and it usually kind of bites me in the ass. But let's go ahead and finish this install. I got my tools here. I'm gonna grab the other light. We're gonna pull that light out. Let's go. Okay, I just removed the top bolt right there and the bottom bolt right there. I got the lights taken out of the housing. Boom. So I'm gonna get the other light out. I'm gonna set something down here so I don't scratch it up. Then we're gonna do the whole light thing all over again. Basically, you know, it's the same thing as that side, just on this side. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and remove these little clips off the old housing real quick before I forget like I did last time. So I'm just gonna do it right now. All I did was I pried up with a knife right there. See that little plastic clip? Gotta come up over that and then out. Hope that kind of explained it a little bit. Unlike last time, I'm actually gonna do the reverse light first. So it's less annoying. And I'm gonna try very hard not to make the light fall in there, cause that sucks. All right, guys, I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm actually gonna do the top first. Ashley says I should do the same way I did it last time, even though it messed up. So we're gonna do that. What we gotta do is, I already took the balls out of there. I'm gonna plug this back in, figure out what direction I might need to flip them. So Ashley's gonna have to be testing that. We're gonna go ahead and get those plugged in. Got the lights figured out, they're in the right direction now. I'm gonna show you guys that all I do here is I tuck these wires down in there, in the housing, because you're gonna want to get these clipped back in how they're supposed to be, because you don't want water on the inside. So make sure you do that. We got the light installed here. I'm just gonna throw the bolt in. I didn't show you guys, but see that little metal clip there? That's the clip um, that we took off the other housing. So you're gonna have to like mess with it a little bit, push it in a little bit further to get that lined up. It's a little bit wanky. But I'm gonna fill these bolts in real quick, give it a test, show you guys what it looks like when these lights are on. The install is completely done. Look at these tail lights, they look fantastic. I love the way this smoked, blacked out look looks on the truck. Honestly, probably one of my top favorite mods. I was kind of lacking, you know, on the rear end of my truck on like what I could do. I'm not gonna do like any high clearance bumper because I don't really do anything crazy like that yet. Maybe in the future, but you know, so this is a good way to kind of make the ass end of this truck kind of pop and look pretty nice. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer here and show you what these look like when they're on. Let's go. A big shout out to Yodaverse for sending these lights out. I think they look great. I have one small complaint and I wanna talk about that. Now that I got these installed and was able to look at them a little bit better in the truck, the turn signals are a concern for me. Now at this price point, I was hoping this whole switchback here, well, this whole red tube would be a switchback, meaning that when you hit those turn signals, this would go from red to orange and flash. So you can see it a little bit better with the smoke lens. But the only thing that's a turn signal is this little piece right here. Now you can still see it, so it's not that much of a big deal, but I just wish it was brighter for that price point and I'm tiny, a little tiny bit concerned about that and people seeing it from behind me because people just don't pay attention. Other than that though, these lights look great. I think they enhance the rear end of the truck and I'm loving that. If this video helped you install some taillights or helped you pick out a set, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It means a ton to me. And also check out this video right here. It's pretty good. And I'll see you guys in the next one.